Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about painting. Um, I have painted the back of my aquarium, but I wanted to go over a few options that you have. Um, one is a roll-on type paint and the other is a type of spray paint. Um, Rust-Oleum, I used semi-gloss black. You can use any color you want. Um, make sure it is the enamel paint and uh, oil based which is very good you know protective enamel that's that's what you want to use for glass is enamel um, also you can use rust-oleum makes uh, enamel in a spray can um, or you can use this is kind of hard to find it's called Krylon fusion um, I use it for everything inside my aquarium it bonds to plastic um, I have it on all my filters that, are, that have been inside my tank uh, for over a year and the paint doesn't chip unless you really really pick at it but um, this stuff bonds really good to plastic if it's a clean surface you spray it a couple of coats let it sit for I usually let it sit for longer than you're, you really need to but I let it sit for 48 hours um, but all like my intake tubes that are inside my tank I want them to match the black background and Krylon Fusion is perfect for inside the tank. I've also sprayed the back of a tank before um, and it worked fine. The only thing is is when you're spray painting a background, you know, the back of the tank, you have to tape off the entire tank. Um, you have to do it outside because it will get everywhere. I taped off the tank and it was okay, but it got all over the floor, it got on the walls, it got on the shelves. It's, it's a mess. So if you would rather do it inside, use a roll-on rust-oleum enamel that's what I used for this um, use a good alcohol you know rubbing alcohol to clean the surface of the tank and definitely get a good 3 8 inch nap um, for semi smooth to smooth surfaces don't get a cheesy you know roller um, I got just some regular you know not really a good brand for smooth surfaces and you can see it left these little flakes everywhere luckily you can't see it from the inside of the tank so what I did is you know and you can tape all this off but I didn't really care because it's behind the tank you're not gonna see it um, and you can see this is just two coats and I can't scratch it off it's it's good paint um, definitely tape off the sides when I had it taped off I kinda had to the tape sticking out like this and it's a good thing I did because see I had it like this and it saves the side of your tank if you do get it on your tank on the glass let it dry and you can scrape it off pretty easily with a razor um, so that's pretty much it you know I, I I gave it two good coats it looks really bad because of these stupid flakes the little fibers that came off of the roller but you'll see from the, the front side you can't even see them at all um, I did tape off where I drilled the tank only because you know inside the overflow box I, I kinda wanted it to be clear back there so I can see if I need to clean it or scrub it or anything but um, gonna give it one more coat today and then that should be all done